Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to view the source code or the HTML that is presented to your browser from any web page on the internet. First of all, let me explain briefly that whenever you view a web page, you're not really viewing a page out there on the internet per se. You're actually viewing that web page on your computer in your browser. In other words, all the files and all the information that's necessary to present that page ultimately had to be sent down from the internet to your computer and then rendered in your browser. That means that all the files and all the code necessary to build that HTML page is available to you and can be viewed. Not only are the source files available, but the actual HTML code that's necessary to render the page is available for you to view. So we'll show you how to do this. There's two ways to do it. Both of them are, are fairly quick and, and straightforward. I'll start with the right-click method because I like to work off of context menus whenever I can. So here, from the browser, sitting at the Google homepage, anywhere in this general white space area, I'm going to right-click and a context menu pops up. And if we go about halfway down this context menu, you'll see that one of the options I have is View Source. Notice it even says down here in the lower left, displays the source or HTML for this page. So I'm going to go there and click that option. And when I do, what happens is it opens up the code for the page, uh, typically in a text editor. In Windows, uh, when you're using Internet Explorer, usually the source code will pop up in Notepad unless you've taken other steps to ensure that, that, that it will open in other programs. Now, Looking at this code, I will admit that if you're not a web designer or a programmer of some sort, this is probably going to be Greek to you. But it is interesting to know, and it can at times be helpful, that if you ever really want to see the code for the HTML that's presented in your browser, you can always do this option to view source, and you can see the actual HTML that's being used to render this page. Now another option, we just showed you the right click option here that gives you the view source item in the context menu. The other option which does the same thing is to go up to the page menu at the top and you click on page and then from here almost to the bottom you can see you also have the option for view source and this will do the exact same thing. It pulls up the code usually in notepad and from here it's up to you uh, to determine what you do with that information. But either way, you can find the source code for any web page that you're on on the Internet. Now, quick note, just because I said you can find the source code, I'm really referring to the HTML that's sent to your browser. Now, almost any sophisticated site these days has what's referred to as server-side scripting of some sort. In other words, they have programs that run on their server that manipulate the data before it ever gets to your browser. And when you're using this method to view the source, you're not going to see any of the underlying logic that was built on their servers to, to send this page to you. All you see is the end result, the final page that came to you uh, and was rendered in your browser via HTML. That concludes this tutorial. And thank you for using showmeacademy.com.